I will say again, though, I was very surprised that they chose to make Hunter Biden so central to this presentation and to insist over and over and over again that they knew for a fact about the details, what was going on with Burisma and Biden. And I will just say that uh, for my part, if we're going to call witnesses, I think it's now clear we absolutely must call Hunter Biden and we probably need to call Joe Biden. Based on the House manager's presentation today, I think we probably are going to need to hear from the former vice president uh, if, indeed, um, if indeed we call witnesses. Senator, philosophically, do you believe that abuse of power is impeachable? You know, yeah, this was an interesting um, point that they were making earlier. I think it's sort of an academic discussion. What's happened in previous presidential impeachments is abuse of power is a label that gets put on particular crimes. What is unique in this case is there are no actual crimes that have been alleged in the impeachment articles. So this is a first in American history. And you can see if you listen to their, to, to their presentation, it's because they don't have any evidence of crimes. Interestingly, Nodler referenced bribery a couple of times at the top of his presentation. But they don't actually charge bribery. And the reason for that is they don't have any evidence of bribery. Uh, that, I, I don't, that sounds to me like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what that would look like. I mean, but here we don't have any allegation of any specific behavior that is a crime or that usually, again, in the past, abuse of power refers to some particular set of crimes um, or some particular set of factual circumstances that, that you know, violate the law or appear to violate the law. We just don't have that in this case. They don't allege it.